welcome to our edge chemistry channel question 2 of exercise 6.2 says if ab is parallel to cd and cd is parallel to ef and y's ratio z is 3 ratio 7 find x so let's do it listen carefully ab is parallel to cd cd is parallel to EF. Then from first and second, AB is parallel to EF. Isn't it? Now let Y be 3A and Z be 7A. A is a variable. You can take any alphabet. It can be B, C, D, E, F, whatever you wish to. So let Y be 3A, Z be 7A. Since AB is parallel to EF, GH is a transversal. Angle Z and angle X are alternate interior angles. Now, AB is parallel to EF. GZ is transversal. So X is equal to Z because of alternate interior angles. Hence, X is equal to 7A. Now remember the identity interior angles on the same side of transversal are supplementary. In this case, interior angles are X and Y. They are on the same side of the transversal. The GH is a transversal. Now they are on the same side of the transversal. And hence, they are supplementary angles. That means X plus Y is 180 degree. X is 7A and Y is 3A. Substitute the values. 7A plus 3A, 180 degree. 7A plus 3A is 10A equal to 180 degree. And A is 180 degree divided. A is equal to 18 degree. Now substitute the value of A in X, Y, Z x is equal to 7 multiply 18 which is 126 degree y is 3a 3 multiply 18 is 54 degree and z is equal to 7a and so is x hence value of z is 126 degree this brings us to an end of this question we have used these two identities to find out x, y and z. If you have any doubt, let me know in the comment section and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.